Today is Prezion encounter. The miracles that God will start in Zion will begin with you today. Amen. I said it will begin with you today. Amen. I said it will begin with you today. Amen. Tell your neighbor, are you ready for Zion 2024? Are you ready for Zion 2024? What did they answer you? Yes. Now, I want to assure you this. God told me specifically. He assured me that lives will be changed. Amen. He assured me that what you passed through in 2023 will not repeat itself in 2024. Amen. He told me that testimonies will be following you the same way the dews of heaven will rain upon you. Amen. Praise Zion Encounter 2024. Our text is taken from the book of Psalms 50 verse 2. Psalm chapter 50 verse 2. Can we read it together? One to go. Out of Zion. No, 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 no. Can we read it more audibly? One to go. Can we read more audibly now? Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God has shined. This is your testimony. Amen. He says, out of Zion, he will perfect your beauty. Amen. Out of Zion, he will perfect your health. Amen. Out of Zion, he will perfect your education. Amen. Out of Zion, he will perfect your relationship. Amen. Out of Zion, he will perfect that that you have been praying about. Amen. Of Zion, the perfection of beauty. Amen. To all of you who we attend Zion, starting from today, God will beautify you. Amen. He will beautify your finance. Amen. He will beautify all that concerns you. Amen. Zion is a specific, historically important location in the Bible. The name refers to both a hill in the city of Jerusalem. And to the city itself. That is what Zion means. Biblically. But it's also used in a general way. To mean a holy place. So when we declare Zion. We are declaring a holy place. Or kingdom of heaven. So when we say come for Zion. We are saying come to the kingdom of heaven. Psalm 1, 3, verse 2, 1, 3, 2 verse 13 says. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for habitation. God has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his habitation. When you are coming to Zion, you are coming to where God dwells. Yes, you will encounter God in Zion 2024. Amen. I said you will encounter God in Zion 2024. Amen. Zion is a symbol of God's kingdom. Zion is associated with establishing God's kingdom on earth. It is seen as a place of righteousness, justice, and God's rule. For many of you here, God will fight for you in Zion. Amen. He will carry your battle for you in Zion. Amen. It is a place where God dispenses justice and God will grant you justice. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Zion is described in the book of Psalm as the city of God and a place that belongs to him. Situated on a high mountain, it is called the joy of all earth. As you appear in Zion, God will grant you joy. Amen. I don't know where people have mocked at you. I don't know where you have lacked evidence in life. God will grant you joy as you appear in Zion. Amen. He will grant you joy as you appear in Zion. Amen. Zion is described in Psalms as the city of God. So when you appear in Zion, God will rub his glory with you. Amen. His glory will rub off on you. Amen. As we have spoken, so shall it be. Amen. The spiritual significance of Zion. What is the, what is the meaning of Zion spiritually? When we talk about Zion spiritually, we say come to Zion Wednesday 17th, Thursday 18th, and Friday 19th. What is the spiritual significance apart from physically appearing? What is the spiritual significance? Now, you will be meeting with the kingmaker. The name Zion is often used 
to describe a place appointed by the Lord where his followers can live and serve God. Scripture refers Zion as the city of holiness. As we are the city of holiness. Please, there is space in front to order so to where to fill up the front. Is the city of where? Holiness. Is the city of where? Holiness. And a city of refuge. Where the Lord protects his people from the evils of this world. I want to declare to you again every evil happening around because you will appear in Zion, God will exempt you. Amen. I said, God will exempt you. Amen. My God will exempt you. Amen. My Father will exempt you. Amen. As we have spoken, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, what do I expect from Zion? Pastor says, Come to Zion. What do I expect from Zion? Is it just to come for Zion this Wednesday? Is it just to come and sit? Is it just to write down notes? What should I carry in my mind as I am coming to Zion? What should I carry? What should I bear in my mind? Number one, you will be meeting with the kingmaker and become royalty yourself. When you come for Zion, make your heart ready that you will meet with the kingmaker and you will be a king yourself. And if you're a woman, you'll be a queen yourself. Now, take me to the book of Psalm chapter 2, verse 6. Psalm chapter 2, verse 6. Yet have I set my king upon the holy hill of Zion. Can we read it together? I want to go. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. When you appear in Zion, you meet the king maker and he makes you a king yourself. Amen. You will be made a king in Zion 2024. Amen. You will be made a king in Zion 2024. Amen. As I am speaking, it is coming to pass. Amen. As I am declaring, it is coming to pass. Amen. As I am, see, when I am on this altar and I speak word, I don't joke with it. Yes, sir. I don't do what? Joke with it. I said, I don't do what? Joke with it. Yes, we've been buying equipment, buying some, you know, every now and then I keep sharing testimonies. We've been buying equipment, buying some things in preparation for Zion. But it's remaining one. We got a power amp, but we need to change the mixer. We got the power amp good, hundred and something thousand. So I was on the altar yesterday when I said, God, please, we still need to change this mixer. It is hundred and fifty thousand. I don't want to raise any offering in church. If I raise, they bring good. God do it. As I was stepping down out of here. As we are locking the car and we are moving out, I saw a lot of 100,000. They say it's for this thing. I said, God, is this how you answer prayer? The person called me and said, at so, so time, God moved me to send, not in Nigeria, from abroad, to send this money at so, so time. And I checked, that was the time I was praying. And I said, sir, you know what? I was just telling God on the altar that we needed 150,000 to get amp. And you sent 100,000. That means it, need, it remained 50,000. May God bless you. Amen. I ended the call. I saw another alert, 50,000 on top. The man said, God said I should complete the money. <laughs> wow. May that be your testimony. Amen. May Zion testimony be begin with you. Amen. Amen. And as we are speaking, they are bringing the mixer from Melabuchi. Immediately after our service, they were bringing it here. So the thing I am sharing here that it, we are in the atmosphere of kingship he said i will make you kings you know when a king speaks the subject can't argue with him yes sir. they go out to carry out his order uh -huh. i speak as a king on this altar yes sir. and i decree that you will be made a king as well Amen. i decree you'll be made a king as well Amen. where you are going out you will pass orders Amen. and people will obey you Amen. People will listen to you. Amen. People will listen to you. Amen. That will be your testimony. Amen. Psalm 48 verse 2 says, Beautiful in elevation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion in the far north, the city of great kings. The city of great kings. He says the Zion is the city 
of great kings. My dear, I am not looking at your height. Yes, sir. I am not looking at your age. Uh. I'm not looking at the house you are coming from. Yes, that you are preparing to come for Zion. And today is pre Zion encounter. Uh. I command in the name of Jesus. If Zion is the city of great kings, yes, sir. you will become a citizen that is a king as well. Amen. You will become a citizen that is as a king as well. Amen. As I have spoken, so shall it be. Amen. Amen. Psalm 48 verse 2. That's where we read from. Now, 2024 Zion, what should I expect while coming to church this Wednesday? 2024 Zion edition will be characterized with divine beautification and guarantee settlement in all and the endeavors of life. Now, bear it in your mind that as you are coming this Wednesday, coming Thursday, coming Friday, that you are coming to be beautified. The same way a woman stands at the mirror, applies makeup, as you appear day one, day two, God will be applying foundation. Applying makeup, Amen. eye pencil, or anything you call all of them, lipstick, gloss, you know the way women do all of them from uh. foundation to the roofing. That's how God will be applying all of them on your face in the name of Jesus. Amen. For a woman who is due for my wedding, God, people will look at her and say, the glory I see on you, I have not seen it before. Uh. Amen. They, as a man, they will say that the glory they have seen on you, they have not seen it before. Amen. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say that will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say, I will be beautified in Zion. I will be beautified in Zion. Say it again, I will be beautified in Zion. I will be beautified in Zion. Psalm 50 verse 2. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty. Out of Zion. You know that song that says, Out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of Zion, as you are coming out of Zion 2024, they will see God's beauty all over you. Amen. Even starting from today, they will see God's glory all over Amen. you. Amen. I said they will see his beauty all over you too. Amen. What should I expect in Zion 2024? God will set your enemies at ambush and cause at the cause of this meeting. Amen. All your enemies that say, let's undo them. God will set them at ambush. Amen. Those that say, let's fight that. Let's fight him. In your marketplace, in your school, in your family. Those that have affected you before. That have caused you weeping. That has made tears to come out of your eyes. I, I decree in the name of Jesus. The God who rules over Zion. The king who presides over the affairs of Zion. Uh. He will judge your enemies. Amen. 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 How do I know? Because Psalm 134 verse 3 says. Psalm 129 verse 5 rather. It says, let them all be confounded and turn back that hate Zion. Let them all be confounded and be turned back that hate what? Zion. Zion. Anyone that hates Zion means anyone that hates the one that is attending Zion. Mm. I see in the scripture there, every scripture I'm giving you is connected to Zion. So Zion is a biblical event. Are you hearing me now? Yes, he said let them be confounded that does what? Hate Zion. Zion. Anyone that hates you, God will grant them to powder. Amen. Anyone that hates you, God will grant them to powder. Amen. Because of Zion, God will judge your enemies. Amen. God will judge your enemies. Amen. God will judge your enemies. Amen. What should I expect in Zion 2024? You will be giving birth to countless dimensions of kingdom blessings in and after this meeting. There is a level I am swimming that I have never ever swimmed before. There is a level God has taken me this season that I know that indeed this Zion, you will witness him like never before. Amen. Indeed, I know that you will witness him like never before. Amen. Do you know why? The book of Psalm 134 verse 3 says, The Zion that made heaven and earth bless thee out of Zion. The Lord that made heaven and earth bless the what? Out of Zion. Leave that scripture on the screen. 
and you are going to pray one prayer from the depth of your heart. Leave the scripture on the screen. If you want to stand, if you want to sit, Father, my demand this morning, please, you can open the window because of the heat. Father, my demand this morning is that out of Zion my blessings shall flow. Can you open your mouth now and pray that prayer in the name of Jesus? Let's come to the Zika Tila Gada. Let's get the blessing of Tila Gada. Somebody pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. My blessing will flow. Libra, Ayanada, and the blessing of the Zika Tila Gada. Libra, Ayanada, Libra, Ayanada, and the blessing of the Zika Tila Gada. Libra, Ayanada, and the blessing of the in Jesus name we pray Amen. out of Zion your blessings are flowing out Amen. I say your blessings are flowing out Amen. 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 your blessings I know what I'm saying I said your blessings are flowing out Amen. Your blessings are flowing out. Amen. Out of my belly shall, shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Out of my belly, out of my belly, it shall flow rivers. Let me know if you are following what I am teaching. Mm. Let me know. What did I say is the first thing you should expect from Zion? You will be meeting with what? Your king maker. And anyone who meets with the king maker will be made a king. Yes, sir. Anyone who meets the queen maker will be made a queen. I hear you, sir. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. What did I say is the second? Divine beautification. God will beautify you where? In Zion. I said, God will do what? Beautify, beautify you in Zion. Zion. God will do what? Beautify you in Zion. Personalize it. God will beautify, beautify me in Zion. Zion. God will beautify me in Zion. Personalize it again. God will beautify me in Zion. God will beautify me in Zion. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. What is the third thing I said? God will set your enemies at ambush. God will set your enemies at ambush. Those that say let's undo him or her. Or they have tried it before. Because of Zion 2024. They will know that there is a God in heaven. Amen. That they, they will know there is a church that presides in Zion. Amen. That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the fourth one I said what? God will beautify you. God will do what? God, God will beautify me. me. Number five. What to expect from in Zion 2024. You will be decorated with his glory for exploit in 2024. Amen. When you woke up this morning, were you able to come out when you were not dressed? No. No, you finished batting in the bathroom. Did you carry your Bible and come to church? No. You couldn't come out because there is what you need to cover up. Yes, sir. You needed to decorate yourself. You needed to be sure that you are well dressed. True of us. Yes, sir. Even as beautiful as handsome you are, you needed to add more beauty. Mm. Most of you took time on the mirror. And your mirror was complaining, leave me, leave me, leave me. You are beautiful and handsome already. Mm. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. That is what attention, paying attention is. That you paid attention to yourself before you came out. Now hear me. What God will be doing in Zion is that he will decorate you with his glory. His glory is that clothes and perfume that people seize on you that they cannot ignore you. Do you know there is a perfume someone will spray and enter here? You will know that somebody truly sprayed perfume. And if you are a conventional person, after service, you will go and ask the person, what is the name of this perfume? That is a glory God will put on you, this 2024, that when men and women see you, they will know indeed that your story has changed. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. They will know that as loud as your amen, God will put that glory upon you. Amen. As loud as your amen, God will wear you that glory. Amen. amen. I see a hand tearing up darkness from your surroundings. Amen. I see a hand replacing white 
with black in your life. Amen. I see a hand replacing glory with shame. Amen. I see a hand replacing riches with poverty. Amen. God will tear off everything that does not glorify him. Amen. As I have spoken, so shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say, God will wear me glory. God will wear me glory. In Zion 2024. In Zion 2024. Amen. Salush Caprata Zigatia. What should I expect from in Zion 2024? It will be a place where divine strength will be supplied to face the year. Zion will be a place where divine strength will be supplied to face the year. Never ever enter the year casual. Which prophet has spoken over your life? Which anointing have you drank from? Which glory have you connected into? Don't face 2024 the way you face 2023. Don't just walk into life so that life will not happen to you. You need to prepare so that you will happen to life. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. It is better you happen to life than life happening to you. Uh, Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. So I said in Zion 2024, it will be a place we are divine strength will be granted you. May God give you strength to face life in 2024. Amen. Amen. Message day one, day two message, day three message. By the time you take these loaded messages and load yourself in these three days, the outpour of prayers, outpour of anointing, when people try you, they will know that you are not with the former strength you operate with. Yes, sir. They will know that some, some energy, God has given you some divine energy. Yes, you know, divine settlement need agility. Yes, if you don't have power, you can't settle down. Yes, sir. You need yes, to sir. push people away so that you can settle down. Yes, sir. So God will give you the strength that will grant you divine settlement. Amen. In Zion 2024, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 84 verse 7. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeared before God. Everything we are talking about here is connected to the scripture. Look at it. Can we read together? I want to go. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeared. When you appear before God in Zion, uh, it is from strength to strength. Yes, sir. Everything I'm telling you, see, God did not give me Zion on a platform of playing. Mm. God gave me Zion scripturally. He said, God is an one program, Zion. I didn't copy from anybody. If you hear any program, I'm saying it online, that they are saying yearly pro program, Zion. My dad, they copied from us. Amen. They did what? Copy from us. We did spiritual and physical diagnosis all around Nigeria. What we saw was maybe Zion convention encounter. Zion this, this, that. Zion that, that, that. The days of Zion, the uplifting powers of Christ, what we saw. But God told me, man of God, my son, call it Zion. Don't attach anything to that name. Just call it Zion. That four letter was, just say it's Zion. It is a place where I do the incredible. Now I am showing you scripture by scripture. These are the scriptures he gave me. When he announced yearly in this same Porta Court, you will be in this same Porta Court, in this same Nigeria, and you will see, I thank God this is streamed online, and it is saved online. Uh. Same you will see the whole city shut down because of Zion. Amen. Same you will see nations shut down because of Zion. Amen. Same you will see people bought flat from all corners of the world yes, sir. coming yes, sir. to Zion. Amen. That is what my God told me. Amen. You will be in this same church and yes, you will sir. witness it. It's not far from now. Amen. You will see people book flights. They are going to Zion in Nigeria. Amen. You will witness it. Amen. You will witness it. Amen. Psalm 1 to 5, verse 1 he said, That day, trust in the Lord. Shall they that trust in the Lord shall be as what? Man Zion. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Man Zion, which cannot be moved. 
but abided forever. Zion is Jesus. He's that rock that can never be moved. Yeah. As you are entering Zion, you are hiding yourself in Jesus. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. Jesus is the New Testament Zion. Uh -huh. He said, they that trust in the Lord, Psalm 125 verse 1, that trust in the Lord shall be, shall be as what? Mount Zion, Zion. That cannot be, be moved. Well. Psalm 20 verse 2 says, send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee. Strengthen thee out of Zion. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen out of Zion 2024, God will strengthen you. Amen. Out of Zion 2024, God will strengthen your finance. Amen. Out of Zion 2020, I have not seen God the way I'm seeing him this season. Amen. I know what I'm telling you. There are some things I can't open mouth to talk about with yes, Mike. Sir. Because service is streaming life. Mm. Are you hearing me now? Amen. But I have seen God in a dimension I have not seen him. That as I am opening, yes, sir. as I am opening my mouth, I am seeing it happen. Amen. In this same anointing, I decree. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The one in charge of Zion. Amen. The king maker. Yes, the strength giver. Yes, the life giver. Yes, the one who surrounds Zion. Yes, with the rock of ages. Uh -huh. I decree that your silent prayers receive answer now. Amen. Amen. That thing that makes you cry in the secret gives you a testimony in the open now. Amen. What will kill you? May God avert it. Amen. What will kill you? May God avert it. Amen. What will give you shame? May God destroy it. Amen. As I have spoken, so shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Out of my belly shall flow. Rivers of living water. Out of Zion shall flow rivers. Out of Zion, rivers of living water. Out of Zion. Out of Zion, Shabbat Shalom, O River, Rivers of Living Water, Man of God, what do I expect from Zion? Both those watching online and those here, why should I come to Zion? Next, you will, as a result of Zion 2024. Begin to engage in massive and gigantic projects. Amen. Because of only you that said amen, you have taken it to yeah. amen. Yeah, I mean. Because of Zion, I said you will engage in gigantic projects. Yeah, amen. Anything I tell you is scriptural. Yes, sir. Anything I do what? I tell you is what? Yes, now sir. take me to the book of Psalm 48, verse 12. I want to pray with you with this pray for you with the scripture. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Tell the towers thereof. Do you know where you have high towers and skyscrapers? It is now that the world are even seeing skyscrapers in Dubai. In Zion there were skyscrapers. There were towers. And you can't find towers in a poor city. You cannot find skyscrapers in a poor economy. Yes, sir. You find it in place that has heaven's economy. Uh -huh. Now God says I should tell you, as you appear in Zion, you will engage in gigantic projects. Yeah, amen. People in your village will look at you and say, why is this young one building? Yes, sir. It is supposed to be our father's and mother's age mate that will be building. Uh. This one is building too. That will be your testimony. Yeah, amen. You will start projects that people will look at you and ask you, show me the way. Uh -huh. As you say amen, that will be your testimony. Yeah, amen. I have shared the testimony. I will share it until Satan go mad. Yes, sir. I want to share it again so that Satan will go mad. Uh -huh. In my family, where we came from, mm. it got so bad that we stay in my grandfather's house. Even as a married man, I don't have where to take my wife to, my children. That's how bad it got. I told God, it is time to prove to the one my father built is this level, this chair level. He, for more than 
close to 20, 30, let me say 28 years now or 25 years. Because we, we saw the foundation of that building from when I was uh, four years, five years, and I'm in my 30s. That level thing now. Well, I'm going to rebuild it up when I'm done with my own. So I told God, it's not going to be like this. We don't have anywhere. We'll just have. From November to you now is how many months? Two. Because it's not complete three. It's what? In two months, the building I am doing for my own family, I'm not saying mother's block house, is getting to the linter level. Amen. In two months, it's not a matter. It's happening already. In two months, in two months, and in 30 something years old, what my father started, I am not saying this to mock him. I'm not saying this to laugh at him. He said, We will overcome our parents. Yes, sir. That's, it is scriptural. The peg of limitation that I had our parents backwards, you are not supposed to be held with that peg. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. Now, my testimony here is, not, is that I am not using church offering. Church offering, if you want, you can go and check your record, then we'll give you a bank details. Go and check bank. We don't. Rather, you even see more in bank, more than what we record here. Because we even add more every day from ourselves. The testimony here is, it is coming from left, from abroad, from right. People I don't expect. I am using this testimony in conjunction with that scripture. It says, walk around Zion, the towers of Zion. And I speak, same in this same congregation. They will see young girls, young boys, young women Amen. taking up projects that is bigger than their parents. Amen. Amen. Settle. They will see you. You will come to pastor. I am speaking it from my innermost being. Yes, sir. You will come to pastor in this 2025. Say, Pastor, I saw a hall. I have cleared. Okay, let's leave this small place to that hall. Amen. Amen. You will be that person. Amen. You will be that person. Amen. You will be that person. Amen. Amen. Same you inside here. You will say, Pastor, I have two cars. Can I bring one for carrying members? Amen. Can I bring one for carrying members? Amen. Can I bring one for carrying members? Amen. Same you will walk into this place and say, Pastor, I have some bags of rice. Can we announce one Sunday like this to just give food in church? Uh. Can we announce one Sunday like this to give clothes in church? Amen. Can we announce one Sunday like this to give scholarship in church? Amen. If your heart is open, receive it. Amen. Amen. It will happen like a dream because you will see it happen. Amen. When it happened, when God favored them, it was like a dream. May that be your testimony. Amen. Amen. May that be your testimony. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, don't miss Zion for anything. Zion for anything. Tell them don't miss Zion for anything. Don't miss Zion for anything. What should I expect from Zion, man of God? It will be characterized by massive salvation of lost souls and kingdom harvest. You see those ones you gave flyers. Those ones you invited. Those ones in your family that has given you consign. That prayer point that saying, God, this boy. God, this girl. God, this my family. This one, God. In the name of Jesus, you see, God will answer you. Amen. It will be a program that is characterized by salvation of souls. Amen. People are coming from far and wide. People are coming from Ahoda, coming from Eche, coming from Elili. I know one, one is coming from Lagos. They are coming for Zion. If they are coming from this far, you in Portacot, don't miss it for anything. Amen. Don't do what? Miss it. Don't miss it for anything. That's your ogre. That's your madam. That's your auntie. That your uncle, they have gone for their own. They were in Shiloh. They will be in Night of Glory. They were in uh, which other Christ Embassy's own is New Year Eve. That is one of their major programs, she and healing something. They've gone, they've gone. Most of them they will be there. There are some other programs, uh, redeemed, they call their own something, something. They did it in December. All of them have gone. You, you are working for them. This is your church. Beg them, I need to go my own too. Because you, do, you need to employ somebody too in the future. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. Tell them I want to go and drink too of this well of salvation. Zion does not last more than three hours. Five, six, seven. Later, seven thirty and eight. We are done. Five to six is one hour. Six to seven is one hour. Seven to eight is one hour. And we may not even stay here up to eight. And God will be so massively blessed. If your madams, those you are working for, you too, you are a madam, don't come alone. Carry your people. Say, let me go and as you appear before the Lord in Zion, God will do massive wonders for you. Amen. Scriptural 
and prophetic steps to benefiting from Zion. And we'll be done with today's message. Now I've told you what you should be expe ex expecting in Zion. But what is the thing I must do to be blessed massively in Zion? What should I do? A. Blow a trumpet about it. Blow a trumpet about Zion. Engage in Zion evangelism and personal one-on-one -on -one invite. What you don't advertise, you can't attract. What you are not happy of can bless you. And all you don't touch with one finger cannot rub the other fingers. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. I want this, I want this. What are you doing about that thing? Blow the trumpet in Zion. Joel chapter 2 verse 15. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sanctify a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Psalm 48 verse 12 says, Walk about Zion and go around her. Tell the towers thereof. Tell about it. Who have you told about Zion? God is ready to pour out his magnificent glory. His blessings upon Zion. Only you, you have drank in 2023 Zion. 2022 Zion. This time around, don't come alone. Tell your neighbor, don't come alone. Don't come alone. Tell your neighbor, don't come alone. Don't come alone. Tell about it. Blow a trumpet about Zion. B. Now, before I talk about B, there are many ways to blow a trumpet about Zion. Some of us, since the flyer came out, you have refused to share it online. Please do. Someone may see it, another person may see it, and they come. And one prayer, they will pray here. We turn lives around for them. If God blesses that person, the blessing cannot fly you that made that person come. Are you hearing me now? Have call contact. Those you have given a flyer and you got their number, you don't have airtime. We have church phone now. Immediately after service, tell my wife, please, I need church phone. Tell any of the officials, we need church phone. There is enough airtime. Enough. Even though you want to talk to you tomorrow, there is enough, enough airtime. Church has subscribed it. Use it and call those you have invited. Follow them up. Come to church early, even after Zion, Sunday morning, as you reach church. Where is church phone? Carry the church phone. Since you may not have airtime or you have, go outside, call somebody and follow them up. After service now, you did not see someone and you know there is somebody in church. You have their contact in your phone. I'm telling you what you should do to attract God's blessing as you go out. Please, can I use church phone? Don't use our church phone to call, don't make personal calls. Are you hearing me now? Use it and call. This is so so number, it's church number. I'm calling on behalf of the pastor. Why did you not? We just got to reach out to you. Blow a trumpet about it. When you blow a trumpet about it, when the blessings are raining down, there is no way it will fly you. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. There is no way it will do what? Fly you. B. Attend with spiritual responsibility. Come fasting and spiritually sensitive. Oh, you can't fast from morning till that evening. At least fast that day because it's our week of fasting from tomorrow. Fast, break by your three. Break by your whatever time you are breaking. And make sure you do what? Come fast. Tell your neighbor, come fasting. Tell another person, come fasting. So, whenever you are waking up this week, ensure to know that you must fast. From Monday, Tuesday, fasting. Monday what? Fasting. Tuesday, fasting. Wednesday, fasting. Some people are not saying fasting. They know they will eat. Monday, fasting. Tuesday, fasting. Wednesday, fasting. Thursday, fasting. Friday, fasting. Saturday, fasting. Sunday, fasting. January, fasting. February, fasting. March, fasting. April, fasting. Even my wife is shouting. She will leave me around. <laughs> It's just one week. All this is they are doing 50 days, 21 days, 30 days, 100 days. I'm not saying all are not doing it, too, but some people are not doing it. They will say, first day you do, second day you do, third day. Nyoy. So God says, reduce the number. Seven days. And make sure you do that seven days. If you cannot do seven days fasting, chai. Somebody say chai. 
Child. If you cannot do seven days fasting, somebody say, Child. If you have health condition, fast from morning till 12 and break. If you, the health condition is so serious, take fruits, don't eat food. Be taking the fruit and be praying the prayer. Are you hearing me now? You have serious health condition. Be on fruits. Don't lack fruits and water. But you know that you are not on health condition. My dear, fat, fast. If it's to 11, to 12, to 1, 2, try your best. When once it's breaking time at workplace, you do what? Break. So have spiritual responsibility while coming for this program. Have what? Spiritual responsibility demands that by now your daughter is ready for Zion. Demands that by now your pen is ready for Zion. I have my new daughter. Every year I have a new daughter. I am not saying if you don't have money to buy, you have committed sin. At least the old one you have, come with daughter. When visitors come and they see you taking notes, do you know that some people here, if I talk, if I ask, what we learned last Zion, some people can still remember. If they can't remember, they will check their notes. It's in the notes. Is where? It's in the notes. That's what notes helps you of. So next day you keep on remembering. And come early. Spiritual what? Spiritual what? When others are appearing by, by when church is closing, you that is a member. Don't be surprised. Even we our invitees, they will be here. But never be a member that invitee appears here before. Be here early. Give it. See, Wednesday, 17 January, Thursday, 18 January, and Friday, 19 January is only one in 2024. It can repeat itself again. True of us. If it is only one, give it that sacrifice. If you cannot sacrifice for this one thing that is not every time of the year, what then will you sacrifice for? Beg your boss, sir. Ma, you know that I have been so faithful to you. You know that I have been so meticulous about this work. I come early. Before I go out, I take break. I want to beg you. It's about God. Please help me. I want to go for this program. It is 5, 5 p.m. for these three days. Help me to leave by 4.30. Help me to leave by... If they not 4.30 is too much for them, sharp 5 if you leave in less than 5 minutes or 10 minutes. Wherever you are coming from within the Boba, you are here. Apart from those coming from Asket of Mboba. Give it a spiritual responsibility. That time you enter early, you are seated waiting. You don't know which angel left heaven to come and keep you safe. And you jump that angel. I will not lie you. I will say it again and again. I have seen angel life in deeper life. Those days I normally enter church early. When I enter, I knew that there was something in that building. In my village. During the offering, the angel came with a tree with something gold, gold on top. Very huge, handsome. The wings we are with, we are fiery. I saw it clearly and I was afraid. After service, I told the pastor, the pastor said he witnessed it too. I've seen angels. That's why even before I became a pastor, I know when I go to church. And past angels are always in church. This is the time they enter. Before the first human enters, an angel is already in church. And when all the humans leave, angel is last to leave. To pick up prayers. And to pick up people's tears. Pick up people's prayer requests. I repeat it again. Angels enter before the first human. They, they unlock the door and enter. They go into the nooks and crannies of the city to touch people. It is time. Oh yeah, it is time. Go to church. And as they have quickened them, they come to wait. You that is coming to see when the angels, because he said, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail. When Satan has gone to sow tasks, angels appear first to remove everything that will hinder the service. At that time, when you come early and you encounter angel, it's like you joined him. He said, they are ministering spirits. You came to clean. Cleaning his ministry. Arranging his ministry. As they are arranging spiritual things, you are arranging physical things. Angels minister to the heirs of salvation. That is where they help you. Oh, this one are joining me. Let me tell you something. Angels are to serve you. And we are to serve God. So when angels appear, you are serving God. And they are serving you and serving God. 
they have this spiritual deposit they live on you they live with you angels have attendance register they appear in church you think i'm lying go on 30 days fasting 40 days fast any fast you can fast, fast say god i will not break this fast until you open my eye that's in case your eyes are not open if your eyes are open you would have witnessed them here because i see them always angels they appear in church so appear early have an encounter with angels that time you appear and you are seated you are arranging angels have taken cognizance you see we are so busy with life affairs walk 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 this, 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 this. We are living to pay attention to the spiritual. Do you know there is a blessing you will receive today? And you will go to church, to your office and do like this on your... I'm not saying to insult him and stay like this on your organ table. I'm not saying you should do it. But do you know there is a money that will hit your account today that you go to your organ table and be like this? I'm not saying you should do it, but then you life event. You are working, they are paying you 30,000, 20,000, 25,000. You wake up, somebody, wire, let me just start small so that you will not collapse. Five million in your account. Most of you will not even respect the company to drop resignation letter. You will just disappear like air. Hey. When they call you, we tell them, why are you disturbing my line? Do I know you people? The, yeah. same, court, the same office we are working, you'll be asking them, do I know you people? Now, I'm using this funny story to tell you that there is a level of blessing God can give to you. You will ask yourself, why have I been running around all this too much? Mm. May God bless you to that level. Amen. Amen. May God bless you to that level. Amen. Amen. What I'm saying in essence is, despite how busy they push you around this season, despite how they do this, do this, mommy say do that, you, you know what you do in your house. I am talking about spiritual attention for Zion, spiritual preparation. You know that every 5 p.m. they tell you to go and cook beans. And you know that beans done 10 hours later. And you know you must be in church 5 p.m. Go and meet your mother, man. I want to cook the beans this morning. Please take the sour on that one day. You know that in the evening, they will tell you to go and grind akara against the same tomorrow morning. Tell your mommy the thing, the beans don't soak this morning. I won't go grind them this morning. God cannot see that you are adding your, his time in your schedule and overlook you. He knows that you are doing that thing because of his service. Yes, sir. He knows you, you want to be in that service. He knows. God knows. He sees. He knows our plans. Even as I am talking, he knows people who are, as I am talking, say, Pastor, talk that thing. They talk, I go appear at 7 30. As the one share grace, now so we go bounce out. He knows. He knows. He knows people who willingly, who willingly want to do it. And there is a way he does it. He will keep your boss ready. To listen to you yes, sir. because he has seen ahead. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. And he knows you are a business person. He knows that most times in the evening is when you have more markets. He will pursue all of those your customers wherever they are, and they will come and meet you in the morning. Yes, sir. They will come and meet you in the afternoon. Yes, sir. So that you can come in the evening. If you doubt him in the evening, say, let me just wait whether they will come. You say nobody will come because he has done the part he did to bring them in the morning. I am a born and breaded church boy from year one as age of Joanna. I started entering church. Year two, I entered children's choir. I am telling you out of experience things I have studied about God, not because someone told me, as a result of from childhood service. From childhood service. And Satan also knows. He knows we are prayed against weather, we are prayed against rain, it will not rain. He knows that that Zion. You have touched your clothes and the clothes is standing like a baby. And what Satan will do is to change weather. Say, don't go. If you come, if you go, rain fall on top of this touch, you don't go for your body. Defeat Satan by stepping out. Defeat Satan by doing what? Stepping out. Something happened in my community. We were building. It was a sensitive part of the building, so I was around. The rain started drizzling. I think it's November, December. If it, when it drizzles, if they said they are closing, that rain is falling. I said, it's not, it's not falling. He said, watch out. I said, you watch out too. I entered the rain. So I was helping them. I was picking some stuff, some mortars, and I was giving them this and giving them that. He said, Pastor, come on for rain now. I said, if I leave this rain, this rain will fall. If I leave this place, rain will fall. As I said that, thing, immediately the sun shined, and the rain ceased, and they finished the work for that day. Because I told them I will not exit the day I came. I am going back so-so hour. He said, I was under the rain. Let me tell you, Every element of universe has the same ear you have. Yes, sir. 
everything you see in this universe have sense organs that you have. The only difference is that you we are clothed with body. You are a higher animal. I hope you are a biology student now. They all have their spirits. Even trees, even the Bible says they bow to wave. Anything that moves is a living thing. What's true of us? So they know, they hear, they sense. So when you speak to them, they listen. Be so spiritually ready this week. Don't miss this. Tell your neighbor, don't miss this. Be sensitive this week. Be sensitive this week. Don't miss this week for anything. Don't miss this week for anything. I'm going to be pointing out, not just as in me, as in heaven. God will pour out on every one of us in the name of Jesus. Amen. See. Don't be found busy with the activities in the society when others are busy with God. I've explained a bit of this. There are some activities in the society that will demand your presence. Be so calculated that you don't allow them to steal you from God's presence. Business will always be here. Schools will always be here. Family will always be there. Don't let this and other things deprive you of these three days of encounter. Zechariah 2 verse 7, Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. D. Forget your problems and appear in Zion with prophetic garment of praise. Tell your neighbor, forget your problems. Forget your problems. Tell another person, forget your problems. Tell yourself, forget your problems. Every new day, have new problem. Do you know that the blood in your body today is not the same blood after some two, three months? Blood cells regenerate. The blood that was in your body when they gave birth to you is not the same blood in your body now. After I heard from 90 days or so, after 90 days or some days, doctor says every blood cells regenerate. So the blood, if you cut now, the blood that came out, that is not the exact blood that will still be in you after 90 days. It is regenerating. Those ones are going out. How they're excreted, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but through the bone marrows and the cells, they regenerate. The water in your body today is not the water in your body tomorrow. As you are drinking, you are excreting others out, true of us. The problem you are seeing today, another day, every day comes with what? Don't say because this challenge that has come, I won't follow God again. I won't serve him again. I won't be in Zion. I won't be in that. If you will not because of this particular problem, what will happen when the next comes? One thing is that when one problem comes and you overlook it, the next one coming will be afraid of. Say, you know, see what in this problem, hey, do. This guy overcame him. Why are you going to waste your time? Problems they will be discussing. Oh boy, no go that place, so the boy will conquer you. May you have that testimony. Amen. May you have that testimony. Amen. We have problems. We have, you know, we have set and distribute problem from. This one we say, this one our headache problem. We like, go go jam this person. This one I say is accident problem. This one I say dead problem. So when they are discussing and they are pointing, this one accident we say call for pedo. I know they go meet that sister. Didn't you see what she did to poverty? Didn't you see what she did to sickness? Didn't you see what she did to sorrow? That will be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. So have this mentality that problems should not weigh you down. As long as you are born and you are alive, problem is also part of life. So the ones that came and they couldn't take you, also use it as a testimony and say that the next one's coming, we do not, will not take you. E, come with a mentality that you are seeking God, not Pastor Mark Miracle. That's the last one I'm discussing. Don't come because there is a young man on this altar called Pastor Mark Miracle. I don't have that kind of power that you are looking for. Don't come because there is a young man called Pastor Mark Miracle on the altar. I can't prophesy if you come like that. My prayers will do nothing for you, but say I am going to Zion to seek God. To do what? To seek God. Let's say paraventure and God forbid. Maybe you come those three days. I am not here, but I will be here in Jesus' name. Amen. God will still do what he would have done if I was on this altar. Yes, because sir. it's not about me. It's not what? About I am you. a messenger. If a messenger carried the message too much from head, he go die with the message. Because I was sent to deliver and step aside. I am sent and I was giving these scriptures to preach to you this morning. Will I tear your head and force it into your head? No. Mine is to deliver and go and tell the sender, Oga, 
Papa, I have done what you sent me to do. Go and seal it up in them. Oh, I am going to church to meet Pastor Mark Miracle. If you are, if live. Are you hearing me now? Don't meet me. I don't have the strength to carry. I can't even carry one of your legs up. I don't carry my own finish. I am only a vessel. A channel. Don't focus your attention on the channel. Only focus your attention on the source. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. Focus your attention on what? On the, on the what? Source. And God will do the incredible in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said God will do the incredible in the name of Jesus. Amen. Focus the attention on what? The source. Yours is to listen. What is this channel saying? Is this channel saying praise the Lord? Say hallelujah because it's the source that sent him. So you receive from the source. Psalm 9 verse 2. Psalm 99 verse 2. The Lord is great in Zion. He did not say Mark Miracle is great in Zion. He did not say the ministers, the choir are great in Zion. He said the Lord is great in Zion. And he is high above all people. High above even the pastor. Psalm 9 verse 11. Sing praises to the Lord. Which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people. He's doing so. God gets doing so. Somebody say, get God gets doing so. I say it like you're afraid. No, my Bible talk, I'm going to say, God gets what? Doings. I serve a God of doings. Yes, sir. You will see his doings this week. Amen. Amen. You will see his doings. His doings are selling, sir. Yes, sir. Selling, sir, doings. Yes, sir. When in doings near you, any Amen. person where they plan to do you, go jam the doer. Yes, Amen. Sir. His doings are what? Selling, sir. He get doings. So After right. Zion, some of you will gain admission. Amen. Amen. After Zion, some of you will gain scholarship. Amen. Amen. After Zion, some of you will see your enemy come to beg you. Amen. Amen. After Zion, some of you, God will give you times 10 of what you lost. Amen. After Zion, some of you will be a boss of your own. Amen. Amen. After Zion, your family will know the reason why they gave birth to you. Amen. After Zion, that subject that has given you a headache in school, God will interpret it and break it down. Amen. I pray for you in here, in house, and those online. Lift your hands to heaven. I decree in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Zion 2024 will be the mark of your turning point. Hey, man. Zion 2024 will be your mark of turning point. Hey, man. Zion 2024 will be your mark of turning point. Hey, man. Zion 2024 will be your mark of turning point. Hey, man. Settle. Don't allow me. Can we be all upstanding? Don't allow me. Don't allow me, Jesus, to go empty and dead. Don't allow me. Don't allow me. Don't allow me, Jesus, to go empty and dead. Oh, don't allow me. Oh. Jesus in your own demosio. Jesus in your own demosio. Jesus in your own demosio. Jesus in Jesus in Jesus in 
All hands join together. Father, anything that will stop me from being in Zion or those that we have invited or those online that will stop us from being in Zion, we agree as a church and we come against it. Can you join your hands and pray that prayer in the name of Jesus? Everything that will stop us, everything that Satan has reared up against Zion, we come against them now. Pray that prayer. Anything that wants to stop me from Zion, I come against it. I come against it. I come against it. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hands joined, hands joined as a church with decree. Father, Zion 2022 will become more successful than the past editions. Using day one to day three as a point of contact. As a church, pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. We are as a church. Set that will not be able to stop Zion 2024. It will become more successful. As a church, we are As a church, we are In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. As a church, we agree that our equipment will function very well Amen. and the weather will be favorable. Open your mouth and pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree that our equipment will function very well. The weather shall be favorable. And the weather shall be favorable. In Jesus' in Jesus mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are going to pray for those who are not self employed, who are working for people. Father, touch their bosses. Amen. To release them for this program. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Father, Father in the name of Jesus. We pray for the workers. Pray touch for their bosses, Amen. touch their workplace. Amen. Amen. To release them for this program. Minister to the boss. In the name of Jesus. Resha Paliza Katu. Minister to the boys. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. With still hands joined. You know one thing you want God to do for you in Zion. As all hands are joined, ask God to do it for you. Riding Let's go prakata ligata. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you for this awesome service. Thank you, Lord. I place a demand with a sign of hands lifted to heaven. Uh, yeah. The miracles that will begin on Wednesday, I plead heaven, rain it from today. Amen. Amen. Rain it from today. Amen. Amen. Rain it from today. Amen. 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 As we all go out to invite souls for Zion, uh. they will not be able to wait till that day. They will, they will be here planted and abiding. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. For we know you have answered our prayers. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. The meeting is not complete without the prayer of salvation. You are here or you are online. You have not made Jesus your Lord and Savior. Say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus. Come into my life. I confess my sins before you today. I also confess that Jesus died to save me. And he is Lord forever. Accept me into your kingdom. I will serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus mighty name we pray. With a round clap to Jesus. Have your seat in God's presence. Hallelujah. Were you blessed today? Titus, I believe you know the culture by now. Those of you who are online, do well to participate by paying your tithes. If you are online and you don't give offering, you are partially offline. So those of you watching online, I believe the service was streamed live. If you are online, this 
we don't used to stream live, but today we are streaming live. No itches. Everything going freely. Can you put your hands together for Jesus? You need money to do ministry. Are you hearing me now? And God will give us that money. Amen. We also give you that money. Amen. So those of you who we are blessed online, that is the account number on the screen. Wire a transfer quickly. Na 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 na. To God's kingdom. And God will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, I'm saying it jovially. But God will bless you jovially too. Amen. I don't joke on this altar. I might be playing. And before you know somebody transfer, all of a sudden, God will from nowhere bless the person. Yesterday, I shy it again if you came late. We are here connecting things. I was tuning, tuning the sound, and I was hearing some sounds, some noise. I said, this mixer needs to be changed. Amp has been changed. The mixer needs to be changed. 150,000. I was on this order. I said, God, please do it. We are outside. I said, lock the door, lock the door, let's go. I said, here, banana, banana, in the phone, I opened. 100,000. And the person called me and said, Sir, do you know what happened? I said, I don't know what happened. Say, God told me now to send this money now. I checked the time. It was when I was praying. I said, wow. I said, do you know something too? He said, what? I said, I was praying on the altar, asking God for 150,000. And you sent 100,000. That means it is remaining 50,000. And we know God will do it. He said, God will do it. I entered the call. I heard the, another one. Bananam, bananam, 50,000. He called me back again. He said, do you know what? I said, what? He said, God said I should complete the money. We are not clapping for Jesus. Amen. So we call the Labuchi. After the service, we'll go and pick the amp and we'll get things fixed. Very soon, the next thing you'll be hearing is we've got a foreign speaker. Amen. Amen. We've got a foreign keyboard. Keyboard, those keyboards that million, million. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. And most importantly, we've got a big hall. Amen. Amen. God will use you to do it in the name of Jesus. Amen. When you enter that hall, AC will be chilling. Child. Sound will be oozing. Yes. Amen. Everywhere. You, you will see. That time when you person enter church, you tell the person, you need to see the tight place we used to be. The person will say, now lie. You know why the person will say, now lie? Because when the person sees the new place and sees young, young face, he will say, which person for inside here feel raised millions? You know that kind of stuff. To put all this AC, to put all this in, but they will know that the ways of God are not the ways of men. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. Even you will be one of the persons God will use Amen. to do that stuff in the name of Jesus. Amen. People are calling me from east, west, north, south. I say, Pastor, what do I send? I'm sending for few, not members who, members of any church who can think their names, the name of the church, all over, all the churches. Both those that worship on Saturday. Pastor, I want to send for fuel. I want to send for this. I want to do this one for Zion. You too will be one of them. Amen. For you to say, Pastor, I want to give, it means you have enough already. Yes, sir. And God will do it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know why I was saying this? I was allowing you to package your tithes. Are you done now? I have come to the altar. Put the account number. Those of you, if you are paying through transfer, please come to the altar too. Those of you who are offline, please partake in the prayer. Father, we thank you for our tithes. As we drop this tithe on the altar, Father, we decree that this tithe will speak for us. This January, nothing will be tight against us. Amen. Heavens are opened. Blessings are poured out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Drop it on the altar as a sign of contact with God, and God will do it in Jesus' name. I believe you have packaged the offering. Lift it up. If you've not packaged it, just put it in the basket like that. Send that offering on an errand. Send it on a message. This offering I send you on errand as I drop you. I'll return back with a testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please drop your offering as media gives us our information quickly. Hello, dear prestigious people. Thanks for choosing to worship with us once again today. We believe that this will not be the first and last time we would see you here. Trust us, here is just the right family you have been looking for. Stay close. Get connected and get impacted as God uses our beloved father, Pastor Mark Miracle, to bring out the spirit of courage, life of purpose, and prayers of leadership deposited in you. If today is the first time you're watching with us, please note that you did not make a mistake to be here today. Kindly wait after the service to meet with our esteemed man of God in his office as he familiarizes with you and pours out blessings upon you. This is Prestige Gospel Center, the place of truth, perfection and solution 
God has perfected many testimonies here and indeed you are next to partake in the prophetic solution streaming from this altar. Beloved, join us every Sunday by 8 a.m. for our dynamic and miracle service. Also note, God is not just a Sunday Sunday God. Make our time therefore to always dine with him in fellowship during weekdays as well. Do well to join us every Wednesday by 6 p.m. in this auditorium for our weekly live service. This is a meeting always characterized with prophetic prayers for families, business, and expository teachings. Are you a kingdom addict? 2 Timothy 4 verse 5b declares, Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. God clearly instructs that all believers are to do the work of an evangelist. This is therefore not just the duty of the pastor and his wife. Learn to activate heaven's blessings upon you as you ensure to join us here every Saturday by 4 p.m. for Kingdom Core Evangelism. Also use your working and school days to reach out to souls on your way and back from work and school as you also ensure they follow you to church on Wednesdays and Sundays. Are you baptized? Until you can search and find someone in church baptized through you, then you haven't started to manifest power in dominion. Inviting a sinner to church is like saying yes to God, but ensuring that your soul is converted and baptized is like inducting you to his hall of fame. Powers are in levels even in the coven world. The highest ranks of believers are those who are baptized and those who has led many to Christ through the initiation of baptism. If you are not baptized yet, but wish to do so, please, while the new converts are seeing the pastor in his office after the service, do well to meet our dearest mama, Pastor Mrs. Onyechi McMerkel, and indicate your interest for baptism. Are you a partner? There are levels in the kingdom that may look unattainable until the kingdom feels your impact. Join the PGC Covenant Sons, Daughters and Partners Forum today by indicating your interest to our esteemed men of God after this service. PGC Covenant Sons and Daughters and Partners Forum are those who have covenanted with God to constantly support the ministry with their finance. These finance are hence used for the fueling of our generating sets for services, purchasing of ministry equipment and maintenance of service venue amongst others. When you make things happen for God, He will make things happen for you as well. To join the PGC Sons, Daughters and Partners Forum with your weekly or monthly financial seats as God has blessed you. Kindly meet with our esteemed pastor, Mark Miracle, in his office immediately after the service or reach out to his office line via 081-23-288-593. I repeat, 081-23-288-593. Do you wish to serve God in any service group? To join the choir units, media units, prayer ministers units, ushering units?